Hi, I'm John Murphy with InfoLink Consulting. In this video series, you'll learn how easy it is to leverage data from Cognos BI for predictive modeling with SPSS Modeler. You'll also see how model predictions and other information can be published back to Cognos BI, where these insights can inform business decision makers. I've moved to a view of an SPSS Modeler stream. For our SPSS Modeler Cognos BI integration demonstration, we'll be using Cognos Go Data Warehouse sample data and utilizing a simple predictive model of employee attrition. We will import data from Cognos BI, prepare our data and score it against predictive model, filter out extraneous fields, and then publish our results back to Cognos BI. In this video, We'll set up the connection between SPSS Modeler and Cognos and import a list report from Cognos BI. Before we set up our connection to Cognos, let's go over a few pieces of information you'll need if you want to set up your own connection between Cognos BI and SPSS Modeler. Your Cognos BI administrator should be able to provide this information. You will need the external dispatcher URI for the Cognos BI server that will supply data to SPSS Modeler. You will also need to know whether or not your Cognos BI server is set to accept anonymous connections. If it is not set to accept anonymous connections, you'll also need the namespace ID, your Cognos BI username, and your Cognos BI password. Now I'll return to the SPSS Modeler application. We'll now add an IBM Cognos BI source node to our stream. From the Sources palette, I left click on the IBM Cognos BI source node, and while holding down the mouse button, use my cursor to drag the node into my stream, releasing the mouse button to place the node. I will use this node to source data from a Cognos BI list report. I can double click on this node or right click on the node and select edit to edit its settings. I'm going to right click on the node, select edit, which takes me to the, the uh, data tab. I'm going to select, make sure the select report mode. Now I'm going to click on the edit button in order to edit my connection. Next, I'll enter the URL of the Cognos BI server from which I'm going to import data. This is the external dispatcher URI of the Cognos BI server. The Cognos connection can be set in one of two connection modes, set credentials or use anonymous connection. Because anonymous connection isn't set for my Cognos BI server, I'll have to set credentials for my connection. Click on the Set Credentials radio button, provide my namespace ID, enter my username, and password. There is a Save as Default button I can use to store these selections so I won't have to reopen them when I reopen the node. I click on that button and then click OK. Now, I will click on the Edit button for location. Here I select the folder in which my reports to be imported are stored. In my case, I'm going to be importing a report from My Folders. Click on My Folders to select it. Click OK. And Cognos uh, Data populates the model or import window in the content window. Next, I'm going to click on the GS Employee Report to select it. Click on the arrow to move the report into the, into the import window. Now Cognos checks to validate that this is actually a list report, which it is. And I will run Preview in order to uh, get a look at the contents of this report. Okay, the contents of the report, a sample of them, the first, in this case, the first 
uh, 10 lines have come across. It does include the fields and the data that I expected it to include. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK to close the settings. So now the, the connections between my import node and Cognos have been established. Now I'm going to connect my uh, import source node to the modeling stream. So I'm going to uh, right click on and select connect. And then I'm going to collect on, uh, connect to the merge node, click on it. Now I'm connected to the stream. In the next video in this series, I'll show how to import Cognos BI database data. Thanks for watching.